Hey folks, I'm Dieter Melhorn. In this video, I do a little spying with my binoculars and it leads to some fish. Now the way this came about, I was out fishing and I saw a boat down the lake doing something. I couldn't tell what it was. I got my binoculars out, got to looking, and I noticed they were sprinkling something in the water. Uh, it turns out it was corn. Uh, they were chumming up an area to go fish. It was kind of interesting because the next day there was a Cabela's King Cat tournament on the lake. And I thought that maybe these guys were cheating. So uh, the next day, I headed out there, got near that area, and anchored up. Took a big run. Yeah, he's there. Sounded like some bees. I heard this buzz, that's it. Uh, the drag's real smooth on this rod, and it's got a yeah, real funny sound to it. It sounded like some bees buzzing. Good, good run. Look at him. Hey, say, simmer down. Big old male all wrapped up. Simmer down, simmer down, simmer down. No, throw the heck on, throw the heck. There we go. Took one of my bigger baits. You ate my big bait, big boy. You ate my big bait. That ain't right. Eating my big bait. Oh, male, he's been spawning. He got some spawning love going on. Hello, world. How are you? Keep back alive. Let him go do some more loving. Well, as you can see, it didn't take long, and I put a fish in the boat. Uh, I was curious if somebody was going to be sitting there in this area when I got there, and honestly, nobody was around. So I don't know if it was somebody from the tournament. Perhaps it was somebody who was coming out there to jug fish, or maybe they fished that night before. Who knows? But uh, I decided to stay in the area and see what else I could catch. Hooked up. First fish on my new slime cat reel. Same old slime cat rods, new slime cat reels. Nice fish. Blowed up on top of the water. Ron got hit a couple times over there. Got him in the boat. They even got a green rattle on it. Oh. Pretty fish coming back alive. Now, I was not fishing the area directly where this corn was put in the water to chum in these catfish. I was several hundred yards from it. Did it play a part in bringing those fish in? Were these fish in that area feeding? Was my scent carrying down to them because we did have a little bit of current? Uh, I don't know. Who knows? Who knows what the deal is? But whatever it was, I was catching fish and I was happy. We got one taking a bait. I think I got one going behind me too. Hooking up, baby. Hooking up. Trying to get on some of these spawning fish that are in here feeding or doing whatever they're doing. Finding a few that want to cooperate. Oh, that's a fat one. Oh. Got a 
couple pictures. Is that one going away? Hey, see the tainer. Tainer. Beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. Back alive. Now, I had posted something online about seeing uh, these people putting the corn in the water the day before this catfish tournament. And I had some people message me who actually told me that uh, a lot of these people who will cheat and do that don't actually fish that first thing. It's almost like it's their fallback in case everything else fails. They know they can go over there and pluck off a few fish to either finish out their creel or just have something to go to the weigh in. So I never saw any boats show up uh, that were tournament boats. I actually saw never no boat show up at all to fish it. So uh, I had my own little private chum hole to catch fish. All right, guys, hooked up on one that took off running. Now it's coming at the boat. I don't think this fish knows it's hooked yet. He does now. He does now. He knows he's hooked now. Don't load that way the pot. Blow. There we go. Sit down, big boy. Get my lens dirty. Come on. Smaller one. Hey, hey. Oh, we're getting bit. Catching fish. Catching fish. Snap. Got wet again. Snapping necks and catching checks. Now, generally speaking, when it comes to chumming, uh, it's it's a good way to bring in fish, uh, bring in catfish, uh, but. Most of the time, you're not going to get a lot of big fish. Not that big fish won't come into corn, sour corn, sour grain, that type thing. Generally speaking, it's going to be your smaller fish. Uh, I have uh, caught some really big fish over the years that, uh, while in the boat, expelled some corn into the boat uh, that was there from either uh, duck hunters who were uh, illegally baiting or from people who were baiting for carp, who knows. But um, generally speaking, it's gonna produce little fish. So it's a good effective tool if you just wanna put some fish in the boat and put some fish in the fryer. There's another one. That one is taking off like a rocket. He's a rocket man. How he didn't get every line I got, I'm not sure. He went about 90 degrees to where I hooked him at. Oh, did get that line. Let's see if I can clear that one. picture that one. That's a good fish. That's a real good fish. Good fish right there. Boom, there he goes, there he goes, there he goes. I was going to say, I thought I looked over and I saw this line going in another direction. Puff is a fish on it. He just never, he just never got the hook stuck in his mouth. Not a monster, but it's a fish. Channel, first channel of the day. Nice little channel. Back alive. Trying to get him out of that tree. Just threw that rod back out. That boat was going by. That's the boat wake. It's one of the guys fishing the tournament that was in here. And this thing must, I must have hit one in the head. Uh, I must have hit one in the head. This feels like a better fish.
Oh, that is a better fish. That's an edible fish. And right there is a great jacked up spawning male. This is a great fish. Jacked up male all colored up real good. Great fish. Good fish. Get him back alive. Poof, got another one. Not a big one, but I seen it swim off. It'll do. Okay. Boom. Another one in the boat. Let's catch us this monster. <laughs> uh. Got him. Another nice fish. It's a channel cat. Geese are not happy. Woo! What a bite. There he is. Hooked again, no monster, but another fish. I just put that bait in the water. Too big to grab onto with the hand there. A the wide head. Beautiful fish. Got a bite on this rod heading south. Heading south. Another fish. I think it's a small one, but that's okay. We got some jet skis. Hello, jet skis. How y'all doing? Fans. Bigger fish are going away. Bite may be waning here with the uh, sun getting higher in the sky. It's still a decent fish. Feisty. Feisty. Hey, say simmer, simmer. Amazing bite this morning. Amazing, amazing bite. We got some good ones. We got some smaller ones. Catching fish in the middle of the spawn. That's a good day. Change places. Try a new spot for a little bit. Sun's getting up in the sky. Boom, little head shake, not a big head shake, but a head shake. Look like a rat 12 pounder.
overhead good. This hook was not going to slip out. female plump for the loving <laughs> guys I just rebaited and chunked this one out and it went it went caught a few fish on these reels today they're working good I got the uh, brakes dialed in on where I can cast them good takes a little finesse to pretty much get any reel dialed in for your weight and stuff casting good drag seems to be good that pulled a little bit of line hadn't had a screamer yet on it but seemed nice and smooth it's quiet very quiet so ooh, there you go what's that drag drag's pretty tight it's got a lot of drag on it okay might have overspooled that thing See where that drags at. There we go. This might be a decent fish. Oh, it is a big one. Nice blue. Big battered male. How you say? Simmer down. Oh, get off that fin. Get off that fin. Come here, big boy. There's my shot. Oh. Mr. Stud Boy. Got him. Fat male. Fat fish. Fat fish. In a picture with that pretty boy. Big boy back alive. Nice fish. Well, folks, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Here are a couple more videos that I think you're going to like. I'd watch that one and then that one. No, no, do, do that one first and then that one. I, I don't know. Just watch them both. They're both good.